This presentation is brought to you by the Lean HR and People Development Summit, a product of Lean Frontiers. Learn more about the summit by visiting leanfrontiers.com slash LHR. Patrick Davis, Ingersoll Rand. Thanks for the clicker. I'm going to dramatically drop this at the end of each slide. Um, so Pecha Kucha, this is the first time that I think any of us have done this, and there was an elaborate system of coin flips and finger pointing, and I got picked first. Um, so I, the concept is, Cheryl, if I get this right, 20 slides, 20 seconds each. So we're moving pretty crisply, and I'm going to try and tell you a story through imagery and not a, a lot of awkward silence and stares at you guys. <laughs> Um, so, prior to my newest role, I spent the last three years as the uh, transformation leader in our uh, HR, corporate HR environment with Ingersoll Rand. If you're not familiar with Ingersoll Rand, uh, we're diversified manufacturing, uh, compressors, we own train, uh, commercial uh, heating and cooling, we own club car, we're big, we're 40 plus thousand employees, uh, 800 HR professionals all across the globe, so a lot of fun stuff. So the thing that we're gonna to talk to you about today is talent. So I'm moving quickly. When you're a 40,000 plus employee uh, uh, business with people all over the world and you are chasing 10% growth and we've been growing close to 10% year over year, guess what, talent, pretty important. And we need a lot of it uh, and we need a lot of it quickly. So if you haven't heard, um, Talent is what we're chasing after. The war for talent is over. Any of you ever heard the phrase, the war for talent is over? Guess who won? Talent. <laughs> right? So guess, they're not chasing us, we're chasing them, if you hadn't noticed. So our idea was uh, to focus on, guess what? Getting the right talent, the right person at the right time in our business, and our approach is through value stream transformation. So we put some folks together and said, what's our current state? Well, we don't have as much talent as we'd like, and what's our future state? We'd like more of that right talent, and we'd like it sooner rather than later uh, because we need that for our growth. I've got an idea. Let's put a bunch of smart people together, and let's run an official value stream transformation. Let's go find some goofy OpEx guy and attach him to that work so that he can keep us all in the right path and he can coach us along the way. Those people can't all be HR people, by the way, because what happens when you get a bunch of HR people, only HR people, to, it's a party and they get nothing accomplished, they get nothing done. It's a lot of heavy drinking and late nights and no problems get solved. Right? So we had to pull people in from the business. We had to get pull customers in. We had to pull uh, people that we just hired, like literally the week before, and said, hey, tell me about your talent experience. How did we do? What did we get right? We talked to folks that we had turned down. Right? So we talked to every person in the world and involved them in this work, in this transformational work. So we had a little resistance. We talked to our leaders. Right? We talked to folks in HR. Okay, we had more than a little resistance. <laughs> We had a lot of resistance. There was some, there's, there, like literally, they were, that's right before they body slammed me into the dirt, right? They said, we, you, you're terrible as a coach and we don't like what you're saying. Um, we had to really drive home, and you, if you haven't heard the message, and it's been pretty consistent with each of the sessions we go through, lean is not an uh, overnight fix. It's not a quick program, right? It is a process. It's something that's going to take time. It's not a singular event. Right? So breaking down that resistance was first helping to lay the groundwork for change, that it is going to be continuous, it's going to be fun, it's going to be painful, it's going to be eye-opening, you're going to find the enemy, many times it may be you, right? but we're going to address and fix our processes. So we embraced the experiment. Right? So we didn't land ourselves in front of computers, we land ourselves in front of boards, in front of walls, and we started putting those ideas on walls. And we started talking through our entire value stream from the idea of we need to hire people and we need to hire the right people all the way to the day that that person becomes an IR employee. What are all the steps in between? And we looked at every channel in the business. We looked at every vocation in the business. And we decided which ones we wanted to focus on. So in a diversified manufacturer, where um, it's very really important for us to sell product and service product, where do you think we focused? 
sales and service? I know, kind of a trick question, right? But w believe it or not, if you don't have enough salespeople to sell your stuff, you're not going to make the revenue that you thought you would. If you don't have enough service technicians to service your product, guess what? You're not going to make the revenue that you thought would, you're not going to grow at the pace, right? So we very much embrace the experiment. Um, I slid this one in here just to drive home that during this grand experiment we had to eat, and if you didn't know, there's Pareto's everywhere. Don't order the ham and Swiss on the rye bread, whatever, nobody eats it. <laughs> so we, we very quickly figured out which sandwiches people eat and which ones they don't eat. If you don't feed HR folks during it, it's, again, heavy drinking, late partying, things like that, it's, it gets really ugly. So um, along this way, we tried, uh, every different way that you can imagine, again, global company, to get the voice of folks in our processes around the world. So you see that we even started leveraging virtual technology. We made a huge investment in a $1,500 three, uh, 360 degree camera. And the folks that you see on the screen uh, are uh, on other sides of the globe. And we run different events and different problem solving and transformation work, and we involve every party possible to make sure that we're not, again, doing these, making these decisions in silos at the corporate ivory tower. So along the way with our transformation, we identify these different things that we're going to do to improve the work. I'll do a little commercial if you want to know more. Tomorrow, 915, value stream transformation in room 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10. Thank you, Mark. Um, and we'll tell you the whole story about the transformation. But whenever you're transforming, make it visual. Follow a standard, execute to the standard. Make sure that your leaders are at the board and present and talking about the progress that you're making each and every day. And again the next day, see how we're wearing different clothes? <laughs> Did you see I'm wearing a tie? That's it. We knew it was Thursday because hashtag tie Thursday. <laughs> we had action plans, reds and greens. If we were off track, we knew it instantly, right? We could identify at that moment on that day who needed help, right? Who was behind, who needed help? How could we make sure that we were transformed faster? Because we were all uh, focused on the one why. And our one why was to be able to grow the business. We need the right talent. With any transformation, you'll find that you can't talk without using your hands. <laughs> Just saying. Mark, Mark, that's my friend Mark. You're gonna, he's my partner in crime from IR. He's ready to catch a football, our value stream owner, and our uh, social media leader, all there on the screen. And I have probably 25 of this same picture with different people, but I didn't put them all on here. Hashtag Tie Thursday. So we did... Just, just to keep things lively and to keep people showing up and, and engaged. It wasn't just the work. We had a little fun along the way, too. But that's not my, I, I just found a child. Uh, somebody, it was bring your kid to work day, and it wasn't mine, and they had a little bow tie on, so we had to do selfies. We finally worked through that resistance. We had a lot of fun, right? And we, we learned that there, there is happiness, there's camaraderie, there's collaboration, and there's a little love uh, with, with value stream transformation as we make these improvements. And there's some winning too, right? And don't forget that your coach is always watching. You had no idea that this slide was in there. So again, all about value stream transformation. Um, instead of solving one or two problems, we looked at everything holistically from the idea that, hey, we should probably hire people to actually hiring people and all the steps in between. How do we recruit? How do we hire? How do we interview? All of those things. This presentation is brought to you by the Lean HR and People Development Summit, a product of Lean Frontiers. Learn more about the summit by visiting leanfrontiers.com slash LHR.